Hi everyone, welcome to Legally Yours. Today we're here with Linda Whitup from Linda Whitup Consulting and we're here to delve a little bit deeper into Linda's specialist area of expertise which is really quite fascinating. So thank you for joining us Linda. Thank you. Okay, so you're known as the PPSA Princess. So yes. tell everybody, PPSA, what does that mean okay. and how did you become the PPSA Princess? Um, the PPSA is the Personal Property Securities Act. So it's a complex piece of legislation that has overhauled the commercial law area essentially. So many years, 200 years of commercial legal rules have gone by the wayside and the PPSA is replacing that. So it really, like if you're interested, the simplest example is going to a bank and getting a loan. The bank says, sure, I'll give you some money, but I need some security. And so you say, I have a car, and they say, I'll take security over that. So this law is really about that, but in many facets of um, the commercial area. Okay, and yep. you first um, came into action with the PPSA in Canada. In Canada, so yes. yes. So in Canada, we've had it for years. Okay. So I grew up in law school taking the PPSA. So okay. it came from Canada to New Zealand to Australia. And so it's new in Australia, but Canada's had it for years. Okay, and, so, and that's sort of where you honed your skills yes, and yes, your, your area of expertise. And in particular, my law school focused on commercial law. Okay. And so we actually had two separate units on PPSA. PSA, secured transaction and advanced secured transaction. So that's really wow. where my grounding was. Okay. But then I was lucky enough to article with the PPSA guru in my jurisdiction of Saskatchewan. And so I spent a couple years working with him. And then, um, yes, then I was Googling. I think in those days we called it surfing the net. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 surfing the net, yes, yes. Um, but I found New Zealand was actually enacting PPSA legislation based on my jurisdiction's law, like yes. modeling on that. So I, I um, actually sent my CVs to New Zealand and said, hey, I can help you out. And one of the firms said, sure, come on down. And so Amazing. I did, I spent years three years with them just working on the PPSA and the great part about that was I learned all the old law that the PPSA okay. was actually supposed to fix and so okay. I had a deeper understanding of the PPSA there. And did that lead you to writing a book then? Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. So that's where my book happened. So not only did I get sort of involved in a lot of presentations with the firm's clients and abroad okay. and I, I started writing articles as well and then the book came out from that. Yes. yes, okay. And then to Australia? And then to Australia. So okay. Australia passed the PPSA too, and I just happened to have been I have a mining background as well. So I went. I was going to Perth for that, but yes. the PPSA just overwhelmed me because yes. that's what the market wanted at the time. So yes. my PPSA princess continued. <laughs> yes, your journey. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And then that led you into academia. And was yes. that being driven because I guess you had obviously learnt it when you were in your law school, and then you felt that that was something that you could contribute? Is that yes, where that in was? a way? But I was also working on the fourth edition of my book. Wow. Or the third, I think it was at that time. And I thought. Gee, I'm spending a lot of time because it's been 10 years since the first, the, the, the last edition. So it was actually, I was doing a lot of research and I thought, hey, I really like this. Yes. And so I thought, well, I'm going to be an academic. I'm doing this anyway. And I okay. thought teaching and yes, modeling a class on a unit on the PPSA would be down my alley. So, okay, yeah. fantastic. And now you find yourself in Melbourne today. You're starting up your own law firm. Yes. But also what you can provide is almost sort of a pseudo barrister type service to law firms yes. where your PPSA princess knowledge can actually be utilized by them on this specific area, yes. is that right? So yes, so that's what happened. While I was actually an academic, I had law firms call calling me and I consulted for them because they would okay. have PPSA issues and they'd bring me on board. So essentially I would help them help their clients. Okay. So I didn't have direct contact with their clients. Yes. Oh, sometimes there was a referral, but most times I was just helping them help their clients. Okay. And so. Um, when they had an issue, rather than them spinning their wheels trying to figure it out, they would just bring me in and I would provide their fantastic. advice. They would put it through the clients. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So if you're out there and you need the expertise advice of the PPSA Princess, please head to our website at legallyyours.com.au and we can introduce you to the wonderful Linda. Thanks so much for watching.